here this evening. Uh, I am honoured to be part of this community and I see here tonight tremendous passion for so many issues uh, and so many of those issues concern the community and the nation and internationally and that is a wonderful thing and you are to be commended. And I think, um, I, I just want to say, I've been really pleased to be here tonight. We haven't been able to get through all the matters. I mean, there was issues that I had uh, that came in about internet access locally. There was uh, about mobile reception. There was the issue of um, supermarkets and the milk wars and the effect on farmers and all those sorts of things. Come. These are really big, important issues uh, that we just can't get to in one night. And I know there's many of you that have questions uh, that we weren't able to address. Uh, I do imagine the candidates will be hanging around for a little while, um, but I want to invite them now to uh, give their closing remarks. I just have to get my hat. <laughs> do it in reverse order. Yeah, just do it in reverse order. Reverse order. Simple. I've yeah. already decided to do my hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hat. It's a hat, Julie. <laughs> oh, Elaine's not here, so... Peter Abbott. No. I was sitting and I was sitting there thinking, boy, it'd be good if I had another two minutes to, to try and work out what my clo closing address is. Uh, two minutes. Um, two minutes. Yes, thank you. Six seconds, seven seconds. Okay. When, when, <laughs> yes, thank you. A minute going by. Okay. Um, the, look, the, the, the main issues that, uh, that, that I'm fighting this election on is ensuring that bulk billing stays in place for, for, for Medicare. Um, the, the changes, that the, the, the freezing of the Medicare rebate will see doctors uh, in this area will, will, will no doubt cease the practice of bulk billing sometime in the near future. Uh, basically, their, their pay rate has been frozen now since 2013. Uh, it, it is frozen into 2016, uh, sorry, 2020, under, the, under the, the, the budget the Liberal Nationals have bought in. Uh, bulk billing... The, me, sorry, ac access, access to medical services should be based on your Medicare card, not on how much money you've got in your wallet or your credit card. A critical thing. Another, uh, uh, the other main issue that I'm fighting for is uh, school education. The Gonski reforms. David Gonski is not some sort of socialist that kind of, you know, designed a system based on providing, uh, you know, uh, jobs for teachers. The proposals that he put in place were, uh, were, were designed, he and his team put in place, were designed so that we were providing education based on the needs of students. We have some of the, the most disadvantaged schools in this, in this electorate. We need to deliver the Gonski reforms. We need to deliver them for the full six years. And only a Labor government uh, will, will do that. two hours and that's incredible and thank you Nathan. For me, we live in a, an incredible country that I came to when I was 18 and I've never looked back, it's given me everything and um, working in a, a civic space or working um, within local government and looking at how government operates, I think what we need to do is have a more mature look at how we discuss politics and policy. We need to look at policy before politics, we need to look at policy before the people in politics. It's really important that you look at the parties that you want to vote for, whoever you vote for, and that's what's great about a democracy. You look at what those policies are, because you might be disappointed if one day a decision is made and you think, that's not what I voted for. But I actually think we do need to be more educated about what the policies are. We do need to have a more mature discussion that in other countries, they have government where it's minority government. That's the norm for other countries. When we got it recently with the Gillard government, they actually passed 153 pieces of legislation, bipartisanship. That was with everybody agreeing, that was Gonski, NDIS amongst other things. They achieved a lot of, a lot of things. 
So let's not be scared of minority government. Let's have a mature discussion. I'm standing because I'm passionate, because I want to work for the community, and I actually think Australia is an incredible place, and we can have more compassion, we can give more, and we really need to look inside ourselves and say, where do we go from here? Our future does look bright, we're in a transition. Let's make that transition work for us rather than fall in a big hole. Thank you.